Look how cute he is. Bruno! You're such a cute nugget. Yay! Look at him. Welcome back everyone. So for today's video, it's gonna be like an informational video because I recently just got a puppy and I just wanted to share my experience of having him for about a month and if there's any advice I can give you guys if you are interested in getting a puppy. So let's get started. I got him as my graduation gift and I wasn't planning on getting a puppy anytime soon not until like i move out but i realized having a puppy takes it's a lot of work and responsibility and i thought getting a puppy while i'm still at home my parents can help out so i just felt like right now would be like the best time and then when i move out it won't be as bad as right now because the puppy stage is insane so i wanted to get a dog that is small enough where I can bring him on board when I travel and I also wanted to make sure that the dog does not shed because I am allergic to dogs and cats that shed so unfortunately I can't adopt because a lot of the dogs there do shed so I needed to focus on certain breeds that don't like the dog that we the family dog that we have Bella she does not shed and even when I got Bruno, his name's Bruno, even when I got him the first week I had terrible allergies so I don't know what's going on but whatever, they got better thankfully. I found him on this website called Lancaster Puppies and because Lancaster is like two hours away from where I live I thought that was like the best place to look. Plus they are raised on a farm with the Amish so I know they're in like good hands and when I was looking for a puppy, I wanted a female originally. So I did, I found his sister on Lancaster Puppies and that's when I decided to go visit her. And so it was Black Friday <laughs> and we went to just see like the dog, ask any questions, blah, blah, blah. And when we first got there, the girl literally like did not approach me at all. I tried to like connect with her, I guess, but she just was like not interested. Meanwhile, this little nugget, he jumped on me, he sat in my lap, he was kissing me, and at that point he chose me, and there's no way I was leaving that place without him. So I was like, you know what? I'm definitely 100% getting him. It was love at first sight. I fell in love with him, and I told my dad, I'm like, I need him. And so then we brought, like, we paid, we brought him home. They gave us papers and stuff, so we asked for the mom's medical records and, like, his record, like, the vaccines and stuff like that. So this is Bruno. Bruno, look at the camera. He is about three months when I got him. He was about, I believe, like, nine weeks, so he was, like, a baby. So he's a little bigger now. He's not that big. He's literally the cutest thing on earth so the first couple of days when we first brought him he wasn't familiar with toys so he wasn't playing he was a little shy plus we have another dog so he was like just i think he was just very overwhelmed and then a couple days later he started playing with the toys he started like being himself and we have like a backyard so the first couple of days he was peep peeing and pooping everywhere so we didn't know his schedule as weeks went on like we finally like caught up to his uh schedule and we know when he's about to pee and when he's about to poop so we try to take him outside as much as possible and every time he pees or poops outside we always give him a treat so he can learn that like going outside is like the right thing to do and if he does it outside he gets a treat and then when it comes to like sleeping overnight i did not want to crate him just because he cannot hold his pee for very long and i would have to wake up multiple times throughout the night to let him out so he can like do his business so what i did is i gated like i can show it to you guys right now so this is the little section that I was talking about. There's the gate, his water bowl, and then this is the first bed that I got him. And I think that's why he cried all the time because I think it is a little small. And I also think it's like a bit uncomfortable. And this is a new bed that I got and this is where he sleeps at night. And this is the snuggle puppy thing. It looks like this. And then in here, you can open it. When you open it, it has a heartbeat pressed down for like five seconds and then it like has a heartbeat and then you put it back inside 
and it's supposed to like relieve anxiety and stuff like that. And then I also got him this thing and he goes in it sometimes. He has his like stuffed animal. This was actually Bella's when we first got her, but he loves it. And I put like a blanket, it matches that bed. So we got it with it. And yeah, so this is just like his little area that he goes in sometimes. I'm probably gonna get rid of this bed because honestly, he does not use it. And plus, this is a blanket that I use that has his mother's scent. And then everywhere around, there are puppy pads. So when he has to pee, he just goes around this area and then he pees. I gated like this little section of my room and he has his bed there. He has this like other like bed type thing. There's blankets, his toys are there. There's like water, I put water there and like every other floor that's not like covered by a bed or anything. That's where I put like the puppy pads. And so he would go like overnight and stuff. But he at first he did pee overnight and then he went back to sleep or he would like poop overnight. And I didn't have this section at first when I first got him because I was not prepared of getting a puppy at all. So I had to remove my carpet and he would just like have his bed and he, I would put him in his bed and then he would just overnight pee, pee and poop like all over my floors. I would just clean it up the next morning. Then like I started getting my shit together and I even got him a playpen but it wasn't working out. He did not like it at all. So I was like, all right, like I'm just gonna use this little section in my room and use that for him. He, at first, he did cry every time I put him in his bed, he cried. And sometimes he still does to this day, but it's not as bad. Like recently, I got him a new bed and I think the bed was the problem. I think that he just did not like the bed, the original bed that I got him and it might have been too small. So once I got this new bed, he never, like I put him in his bed, he doesn't cry. And then around, he wakes up at 6, 7 a.m. every morning and I make sure he goes, pee, like that he pees and then I put him back on my bed until like I wake up because I can't wake up that early and then I like feed him and take him out and stuff like that. So that's like basically like our routine every night. I also forgot to mention I did buy him a blanket before I got him and I rubbed the blanket on the mom to get like the mom set. I don't know if it worked or not, but maybe like it like helps relieve the puppy's anxiety or whatever. I also got him this um, a, like snuggle puppy and it has a heartbeat inside. I'm not sure if he loves that toy. Like, he loves that stuffed animal like more than anything. He plays with it all the time, but I don't think the heartbeat actually makes him go to sleep because I stopped using it and he still went to bed. So I think like it definitely relieves anxiety, especially if you are putting your dog in the crate. But since I'm not doing that, I can't really tell if it works or not, but you guys should check it out. It has really good reviews on Amazon too, so. So like I said, we do have another dog and she is a Maltese. She does not like him whatsoever. She hates him. Hey. <laughs> like at first. But now they started playing, they started chasing each other, and I think slowly she's opening up to him. And I asked the vet about it, and the vet said it's actually good to have an adult dog. He learns how to like respect her and stuff like that. I did take him to the vet. I couldn't find an appointment when I first got him, but I found an appointment maybe like two weeks after. And he just got more shots. I'm gonna take him, I think next week, to get another shot. Uh, when it comes to training, I only trained him how to sit. Right now, um, I have to put like a lot of effort into training him. Like I want to train him to do tricks and stuff like that. So I'm still in the process of doing that. He does know his name. He caught up, like he knew his name, like maybe after a week or two of me just constantly saying his name. So he, like every time I say Bruno, he comes to me. He's such a good boy. He really is like the sweetest boy ever. And recently I've been trying to train him how to walk on a leash. He's actually like a natural, like he actually has like no problem walking on the leash. The only problem is that he doesn't know that he can poop or pee 
while we're on a walk. So I would take him, we would come back, and then he would go to the backyard and pee or poo. So I'm still trying to like train him to know like that's okay. He does nap, he does play like a lot. He is like a little baby, so he's a little brat, but he does cry a lot. That's like the most annoying thing ever. He cries every time I leave him. I think he's very, very attached to me and I feel like he's gonna start having separation anxiety. And so I wanna start leaving him alone so he can get used to being alone because I feel like that will cause problems in the future. But overall, like these puppies are, I mean, I honestly think he's better than Bella when we first got her because that was horrible. Like she was a brat. So he is growing. His legs were not this long. Like he's taller than our adult Maltese. So his legs are super long and his fur is getting long. And he was definitely smaller when we first got him. We got him a little like name tag from Chewy and he has an Eagles uh, collar. Yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend getting it, but it's a lot of work. Like I really can't leave the house ever. If I do leave the house, I have to bring him or make sure my mom's home to take care of him. But I definitely like recommend getting one. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer. And I will make like an update video in a couple months about him and see like if anything changed, if I have more advice to give you guys. And I actually, I'm gonna be honest, I had really, 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 really bad puppy blues. I started regretting him. I was freaking out. I didn't realize how much like, how big of a responsibility he is and I literally like regret, like regretted getting him. But that went away after two days and it's perfectly normal. I just think I got super overwhelmed and it, you don't like freak out or anything. I just was freaking out when I first got him. But like I said, it went away. And now like I don't regret it at all and I'm like can't even imagine my life without him. So we are definitely bonding and getting close and it does take a couple days for you to bond with your new puppy. But I think he's very happy here. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I just wanted to make a video to show you guys, to introduce you to my new dog, Bruno. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will be happy to answer them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, 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 please subscribe. I just finished university, so I will be trying to make a lot more videos with my free time now. And yeah, so I'll see you guys soon.